<laughs> yep. We're joined Yay. here by actor, writer, cinematographer, producer, and director. Only one person. Yes, sir. Yes, Jay Blaze, yeah. Jay Blaze, oh yeah, Blaze. Thank you so much for joining us. Mm. Thank now you. he's written a couple of screenplays, a silenced and table, uh, you know, and of course he starred in King of Boys Two, mm. right? And Riona Dwindle, Skinny Girl. You know what? Just a <laughs> large array of amazing uh, bodies of work. Welcome to mm. the show. Thank you very much. So I found that there are many, many actors who branch or who delve into producing and yeah. probably directing. Uh, they, a, a number of them have spoken to did it because maybe they didn't get some opportunities and they felt like, okay, for me to have the opportunity to lead or to star in something I want to do, let me spend, let me look for the money, let me put it together and yeah. star in it. Yeah. Was that the case with you? Uh, I mean, that was part of it. But then I noticed something in Hollywood where they tend to stereotype actors. Mm. And I keep telling actors, if you don't want to be stereotyped, try and do other things. And you might have to put your money into it, produce, um, direct, and then do other things. Let them see in a different light. And then okay. producers mm. and directors will have the urge to cast you in something different. Too. Okay. Mm. But, yeah. but what gives you the most joy, being in front or yeah. behind? Uh -huh. Difficult question, both. <laughs> both. Are you sure? You need one measure. I it's... feel like the script determines a lot. Sometimes I read the script and I, I'm in love with the character and I okay. want to do, I want to do it, I want to do that character. Mm. And there's a script I look at and I'm like, there's so much creative juice around this, I want to direct it. So I think the script determines a lot. Script determines. Right. What the King of Boys two coming to your mind? I know, I know you, um, you, you were part of the the, the process, mm. the competition, mm. yeah. and then you, you, you won. Yes. Uh, got into it. It was. With everything that has happened, King of Boys has, there's so much, the hype, mm -hmm. the reactions, you know, here and then all over. When you got the script for what you were going to do, now you also directed some part of King of Boys, right? I uh -huh. consulted. You consulted in yes, some, in no, some measure. Yes, directed. Yes, yes. But in mm -hmm. some measure, yeah. yeah. So when the script come to, came to your own part or whatever you were doing, what did you feel about it? Uh, I saw it, and especially the scene where I had with F.I. Wara in the mm. house, I read it and I was like, Yes, this is it. I didn't need too much to show what I could do. That was a scene where it was only me ranting for about a couple of minutes, mm. okay. and it's going to show my depth as an actor. So I was totally in love with, it, with the whole process, with the script, yeah. with that scene itself. Mm. It, was, it was vital for me, and it was really vital for my career, and I'm really grateful to Kemi Aditiba for it. Mm. You know, um, it's said that uh, this is the first ever Netflix original series from Nigeria. Yes. Right? Um, so how do you feel about where the industry is going now that there are now Netflix original series happening? <laughs> because we're going to be, yeah. we are, we are going to be measured on yeah. a global scale. You yeah. know, now we yes. are at par. We, people in the U.S. can watch us and they can watch mm -hmm. um, Game of Thrones or maybe yeah. another American <laughs> series and mm -hmm. you can yeah. be compared. So what, 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 what do you think about that? I am elated. I am excited that um, the first Netflix original series is KOB The Return of the King, and mm. it is exceptional. Mm. A lot of people have watched it and been getting high reviews about it. And I feel like I'm proud to go out and say, yes, that's our film, it's from Nigeria, and they'll give us a level of respect. And then, I mean, I'll still brag to my friends, look, guys, I mean, the first Netflix original series from Nigeria. <laughs> and it's, it's a thing of joy. I'm excited, the cinematography, the pictures, the acting, it's fire. Hmm. Really fire. Now, uh, you know, on, on both sides, as much as there has been accolades and praise for it, there's also been criticism. Serious one. Yeah. <laughs> now, that's okay. something that, as um, I, I looked at it as an industry, Nollywood is not an industry that takes so well to criticism. Now, criticism yeah. as, uh, when you go to Hollywood, it's a major part of the industry. Critics come in, and then, in fact, critics, they, they almost at times decide how well the movie will be received by Eventually. the public. Yeah. So, but here now, uh, maybe it's the way we do it, but a number of people come up and uh, if you are critiquing the movie, uh, you are a hater, mm. as it stands. You know. <laughs> what, well. Let's go on both sides. What have you heard about King of Boys? What on, on both sides of the device? And then, what do you, apart from being a part of it, what do you think about that project? I feel, as a creative, every creative know that um, criticism is expected. Mm. And except we want to lie to ourselves, no matter the job we put out there, we criticize it ourselves first. No, okay. We are like, ah! I could have done this better. And I could mm. say it boldly that if Kemi decides to shoot Return of the Kings again, yeah. she will do it better again. So yeah, if okay. in the first place you know that you can do it better, then you should expect criticism. People mm -hmm. are going to talk about it. And if they don't talk about it in the first place, maybe it's not worth it in the first place. Okay. So yes, I am a very, very proud um, creative that accepts criticism. I love criticism. I mm. live for it. Mm. And 
art is subjective. Mm. I don't expect you to see the way I see things. Mm. I expect that when I put things out, you have your own different opinion about it. Mm. And then I look at your opinion and I say, fine, I, I, I like it, but I still want to go with this. You get So I'm, I'm okay with criticism. Okay. But KOB, yeah. of course, there's going to be criticism, mm. both good and bad, mm. but I feel like it just makes us better filmmakers. I like that. I'm thinking about like if and when, I'm yeah. prophesying into you know, the future now, that you have the opportunity to have your own Netflix original series. Yes. What would it be about? What sort of story would you tell? <sighs> <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> I feel like I would love to do something that has action, and um, maybe action and romance. Action, yeah. and romance. Yes. Action is one genre that uh, Nollywood finds challenging, you know? Yeah. Because I, I feel like we have a lot to go in that particular regard. Is this something that you think you can take on? Yeah, I believe it's something I can take on. I mm. mean, after um, experiencing KOB and, I mean, walking side, uh, side by side with Kemi Adetiba mm. and seeing how it actually comes out eventually, I'm like, yes, it's something we can. That you can do. I feel like whatever scares you the most is what you should do. Oh, wow. I love like yeah. that. You see, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, like would, you, would you direct yourself? <laughs> in that particular story, what do you want? Because, you know... Uh, I mean, yeah. yeah, I think I can, because growing up and learning, I tend to do a lot. In the same film, I've, I've done a film where I wrote, I produced, I played lead and I directed, so wow. yeah. Isn't that, isn't that going to, I don't know, is there not going to be a conflict of, I don't, I'm not interest per se, a conflict of creative, of, of, of the mind? Because as, as a director, how do we, can you really direct yourself? Um, is it really possible? So the thing is, when I was when I said when I was growing up here, yeah, I learned a lot from Mike Bamloe, okay. and my process was pretty much how he does his things. I mm. mean, I didn't even know you could be you have to do it individually. He used to, I mean, he plays lead, he's the director, he's the producer, he's the EP, and my thought process was that is how it should also be. So growing up, I grew up really tough in this. So mm. when it comes to script, myself, the characters, why a lot of people have issues with it is because we tend to want to shoot like 15 scenes a day. Mm. If you're literally shooting a standard of maybe one, two scenes a day, if you don't get it right, you can shoot it again. Okay. So you can get to mm. direct what you want. And then there's a process, there's script reading, there is um, the character Bible. And once you understand the character Bible, which is the basis of everything, you get to become a character. Directing is, 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 not, is not going to be too much of a big deal. Mm. And a lot of people think that on set, a director is supposed to teach you how to act. But mm. a director is actually supposed to guide you. Exactly. And expect that you deliver because you are the actor, you have the character Bible, and you most likely will know the character better than the director. Mm. So Fabulous. Yes. Fabulous. Speaking of characters, I hear that you once played the character of a medical student in real life. You studied medicine, is that Medical true? student. Uh, no, I think it's with medical doctors. Medical All the doc roles I've done is medical doctors, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and true, yes, I studied, um, I have a BS in anatomy, then I have oh, wow. MBBS in uh, medicine and surgery. Wow, that's, University. Such a, that's such a divide. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like two right. sides of, of, of different coins. Let's talk, about, uh, let's talk about your future projects. What do you yeah. have on hand? What is, what, what, what's up for JBS after King of Boys? What are you looking for? Next five, ten years, what do we see? What, what are you expecting? I mean, in, right in front of me is Den of Snakes for Kemi Adetiba, and I'm so excited about that. Amazing. And um, I've been in a couple of series. What is that series? Um, Skidos Wahala. Um, oh, there's loads coming um, There's yeah. everything scattered with um, Jadio Shiberu. There's, I mean, there's quite a lot. There are some other projects that I actually can't speak of right mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. because of contracts and all, yeah, yeah. but <laughs> those are ones that I've been contracted to do. And then I'm working on a couple of projects myself. I have a medical series that I'm writing, mm -hmm. and um, I can't wait to bring that out. And it's supposed to be different because as a medical doctor, I'm not yeah. like hiding details, and I'm trying to give you the feel of what you actually would experience in the hospital also. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. So like, are we looking towards the Nigeria's Grey's Anatomy maybe? Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, most likely. Let's head over to the kitchen. We have right. something sweet for you to try out. You've what done that already on the show, I, one time no, too many. Someone did that to me. I didn't do it myself. Jay Blaze. Good to have you on the show and in the kitchen here. We have Chef Sandy, who has worked tirelessly. She made yeah. me do absolutely nothing to put together this curry <laughs> fried rice here. And um, I'm excited Ooh. to have you taste it. It looks beautiful yeah. already, as you can see. Uh, the plating is fantastic. So, hey, if you, <laughs> if you are not ready to eat it, please let me know so that I can already just All jump right. in. But, hey, oh, yeah. we want you to have a taste and tell us what you think about it. Yeah. Great acting, by the way. I love your acting. It's fantastic. Thank you. And Thank that you. switch from medicine to movies. <laughs> Dude, yes. man. Yeah, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
I don't know how your parents feel after they sent you to school to go and read. Oh, daddy was confused. He <laughs> <laughs> was really confused. He wasn't, mm. was, was bothered about it. Yeah. Mm. So we've got everything in there. We've got some shrimp, mm. we've got eggs, we've got some meat, chicken mm. breast, everything is complete. Yeah, dream away, man. It's beautiful. Right. I know, I know. If, if that was a movie, what would you call it? This. Mm. Mm. What do you think? King of plates? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is king these days. I'll probably call it explosive juice. Explosive oh. juice. You yeah. heard it, Chef Sandy. Yeah. Explosive. Explosive yeah. juice. It's, it's great. I love Thanks it. Thanks for yeah. joining us, Chef. Yes, Actually, is. I won't finish this. Yeah, it's yours. It's all yours. yours. Please yours. Please feel free. <laughs> Go ahead. While we're yammering away, you can be eating away. In any case, yes, thank you is. very much to everybody who's out there who's joined us since uh, 7 a.m. up until now. You've learned yeah. so much from us, and we've given you all the entertainment that we curated since the beginning of the week. <laughs> now, I don't know if Mike is uh, feeling as, uh, um, you know, hungry as I am. Mike, mm. what are your words of wisdom? Oh, Mexican. you need, uh, okay. A doctor, you see? Uh, <laughs> have, you, have you seen Kotoaye? <laughs> you see? The, 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 there's a similarity between Kotoaye and Grace Anatomy. Wow. It's a, it's a, it's they're all about doctors. Yes. One is native. Yeah, the other one is orthodox. international. Yes. Mm. All the same, they're still doctors. All doctors are doctors. <laughs> oh, Mike, that's a good one. It goes well with what I was going to say. I was going to say Sabato and Louboutin, not the same grand any match. Oh, goodness. Tizzy, do you have any? I don't have any words Okay, let's for just both say goodbye. <laughs> have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs>